Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web fishing report. Well, you know what they say, if you don't like the current weather in New England, just wait a few minutes, it's certain to change. And that absolutely covers what we've seen for the last few days here across New England. Uh, over the weekend, we saw temperatures that were into the 50s. Guys were out on the ice in short sleeve, taking advantage of the nice weather. Then here we got Monday morning as I'm recording this video. I look outside, it's snowing. Uh, look a little further into the week, I saw temperatures that were supposed to be into the 20s. Then we got a little bit of snow coming, then back up into the 50s, then back out, down into the 30s. It's, it's just crazy. Uh, but hey, that's what you get this time of year across New England. Unfortunately, the fishing has been equally sporadic. Uh, when guys are getting out on the ice, they've been doing extremely well. You know, talking to Red Top Sporting Goods, they've been weighing in some very large, some very big largemouth bass. Several uh, up to seven pounds have come in uh, from ice fishermen in that area, and there's even rumors of an 11 and a half pounder being iced somewhere in that area. Uh, out on the Cape, uh, Canal Bait and Tackle reports some very big pike being caught out there. Uh, they've got some great pictures on their Facebook page. Check those out. Uh, moving back down through Connecticut, uh, again, ice fishing has been very good. Uh, talked to Blaine Anderson, he said one of the coves that he was fishing off the Connecticut Hip River had 18 inches of solid ice still on it. I mean, at this rate, we're going to have ice fishermen going into the beginning of April. It's just crazy. Uh, let's see, holdover striped bass. You know, it's always a big fishery across New England through throughout the winter. Uh, guys hitting the bigger rivers that we've got. The Connecticut, the Thames, Housatonic in Connecticut, some of the smaller places up in uh, Massachusetts, the Providence River in Rhode Island. But this year the weather has just made it very difficult. However, I have been getting a few more rumblings the last couple of days over the last week or two of more action. Finally, those fish are starting to wake up. Uh, guys are able to access them for the shore casters that kind of had that, that layer of ice along the edges of a lot of these waterways. That's starting to open up a bit. Uh, kayakers have been doing very well in the Housatonic. A few guys that I know have been doing all right when they're getting out for them. Uh, again, this should just increase a little bit better each passing day when these storms don't hit us. You get a nice 50 degree, upper 40, maybe even 50 degree day. Get out there, give it a shot. It kicks uh, the fish into gear. That little bit of activity is just what we need. Uh, lastly, the usual perennial, perennial uh, uh, fishery here in New England, at least the last couple of years, has been cod fishing off of Block Island. And unfortunately, it's been the most sporadic, inconsistent season that I can remember since we had the, the resurgence in the fishery a few years back. Uh, the boats are still having a difficult time making out with any consistency. Uh, Mother Nature, you know, gives us a little tease like we did this week, and then we got snow and weather coming this week. So you, you just never know. Um, as I always tell you, it's the best bet is to contact the boat the night before you plan to get out to verify that they're sailing. They're running varied sailing times this time of year as well to try to get in the best bite, the best tides. Uh, the boats have been doing okay when they do get out there, getting word of fish to you know high teens, maybe 20 pounds for the pool fish. Uh, cod, pollock, some ling, you know, when you can get out, they're, they're getting some fish. It, you know, it's still worth a shot. Uh, really, any time spent on the water this time of the year can't really be considered bad, no matter how the success goes. So again, that's this week's fishing report across New England. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines.